So, okay, all right. I just had this thought in my mind where um, I realize a lot of you, when you guys do homework, it's right when you get home. And that's also when you're eating. So if you're doing that, I might as well just turn this into like, call this dinner with Mr. Ng. All right, because that's what, that's what this turns into. You're, you're, <laughs> you're eating, I'm eating. Okay, all right, so tonight's homework is going to be, now let me open this first. Can I take a while? All right, let me take a swig of my favorite morning beverage. Tonight's homework is homework number 31, right? Homework number 31. Now it's going to be subtraction. So. Yeah. This video. It's required, by the way. Okay. So let's see. Things still hasn't been up yet. Okay, so okay, I'm just gonna take a bite of time. That's the case. Put some cholula on my burrito. Um, for number one there, okay, open your note, open your textbook right now. Okay. Don't just watch me eat. For number one, it says model each situation, then simplify. So I'm going to do one of that. And then I'm going to do one of those at the, at the next section. All right. It says write each difference as a song. All right, finally. Good as so. Okay. All right. Thirty one. One through ten. I'm gonna do one with you guys and I'm gonna do one of those at the bottom. Okay. 
do have three dollars. You oh. Okay, so real quick, right? Now there's two ways there's two ways I'm gonna do this, okay? Just so that we can be a little bit more consistent about it. So you have three bucks, so that's three dollars positive. Now I'm gonna use green for that. Right. And then you owe ten bucks, which is what? Right, negative ten dollars, right? So I'm gonna use red, okay, because that's what the color people usually use. Now I'm gonna do two ways. One is the number line. So the number line, okay, now, zero, now don't, don't draw the numbers up, I mean, you guys know that. So I'm going to use green and red as arrows, so you went from zero to three, right, that's positive three, and then you went ten down. So where do you think you end up? I mean, we've watched these videos like over and over and over, over and over and over. Right? Okay, good. I got the lines. Where is that? Yeah, negative seven. All right. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is do the counters. Remember the counters? Now it was yellow and red. So let's say I have three yellow ones here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's okay. And then 10 red ones. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something even more speedy. Uh, make one of these. Fill it out with a red color. All right. And then watch the magic happen. Uh-oh. I'm going all the way there. So let's see how many. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then. Right. That's how magic happens, Kate. Don't try this at home. So now, these two pair up, right? So basically, you form a what? What is it called? Remember? Right, zero pair, right? So they cancel out. That's the whole act of canceling out. So these cancel out. What am I left with? Seven of these, right? Negative one, so it's negative seven. So same thing. Now, the third way to do is do mathematically, right? What's the rule for subtraction? That's right, keep change, change. So you would do something like this. Three minus 10. Right, so keep, change, change so what's three plus negative ten yeah negative seven that right? doesn't change okay now number three let's do three is right each difference is a sum then simplify so what all that let's do four four is so much of a better yeah let's do four okay i was gonna do six but you're gonna do six Six minus negative two, so they want you to rewrite as an addition problem, right? Which is nothing new, all right? We've been talking about this ad nauseum in videos. Six cells keep, change this to adding, that's what the directions meant, and then change that. So let's do eight, okay? And that's that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your dinner. OMG, that was so good.